I'm not wearing any pants. Well done. Well, nobody's really there yet for me to be putting on hold. What? Well, I just ate here. Hello? Hello? Hey, Joanne, I just texted you. Did you get it? Yeah, Delta did me freaking dirty. Dang, Delta. Oh, you roll back, okay. No, Delta's usually great. Okay, let me give this disclaimer. I'm still, I'm still sticking up for Delta, even after what happened today. Delta is usually an amazing airline. What was that? Um, however, listen to this. Okay, okay. So, I'm leaving LAX. I'm on the plane. We're sitting at the, before we like take off forever, like we're still at the jet bridge. We're sitting there, parked forever. That's not abnormal for there to be delays before takeoff, whatever. We're sitting there and it's like, they're like, eh, you, uh, blah, blah, blah. So they get, he gets on, the pilot gets on. I know because I have my headphones in, so I heard him clear as day. This is why he said we didn't take off. He said, we, sorry, we can't pull out yet because there's a plane behind us waiting to park. If there's a plane behind Delta, a Delta plane waiting to park, what plane is that? What airline would that be if it's waiting to park behind a Delta aircraft? It's another Delta plane, okay? All right. The classic didn't pull out trick. Okay. Now, so, now we're up in the air. He's like, you know, we're going to get in a few minutes late. I'm still not tripping. No problem. Whatever, right? Then... I start, this is when I start getting worried. This is when things start getting suspect. We're getting ready to land and the flight attendants go overhead and they're like, hey, if everyone could be sure, why are 900 people watching a stupid Delta story? You guys, it's just a typical Delta story. There's nothing to see here, folks. Move along, move along. Okay. <laughs> um, Oh my gosh, now almost a thousand people must really hate Delta. It's the hair. Okay, so so the the flight attendants get on. It's 1K! The flight, you hear this Delta? There's 1,000 people watching this Delta. You better clean up your act if I can ever get through the rest of the story. Okay, flight attendants get on the intercom system and they're like, if everyone could please stay seated, we have a lot of close connections because we're now 1.1. We're so, it's like so close, a lot of people are gonna miss their connections. Well, you already know, no one stays seated when the plane lands. Yeah, right. No one's gonna stay seated. They could be like, Obama's on the back of the plane, y'all. He needs to get off. Everyone be like, fuck that president. I need to get off this goddamn plane, right? No one cares. Nobody cares. So just as I thought, plane lands. Everyone stands up. Everyone's in the aisles. There's no getting through. So, and you know, I had thought I was smart by getting an exit row seat. Never did I think I was going to be running for my life through the airport to try to get my connection. So, you know, I'm back in like row 27 because I wanted the freaking leg room. So now I'm trying to get off this plane, get it, finally get off the plane, running through Minneapolis airport. It's the worst, biggest airport to try to get from one side of the other too, right? And I'm going to a long distance because I have to go over to where the small aircraft carriers are for Fort Wayne, BFE. So booking it through the airport, I already knew. I had already texted. Peter, I said, I'm going to miss this flight. There's no way I'm going to make this flight. Sure enough, I get to the gate. 
I'm like, is this the gate for Fort Wayne? And she's like, Fort Wayne, that's the plane right there, and points out the window. She's like, that's the Fort Wayne plane. The guy behind me, y'all, he starts laughing at me. I turned around. I did. I did this. I did. He was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm thinking, you motherfucker, you better be sorry. I was so fucking <laughs> smack. And then I whacked him. No, I, sh I wanted, I should have. I, I, that's the one time where I kind of regret holding composure so well because I didn't say anything. And I, after I walked away, I wanted to go back just to tell that guy off. So anyways, 1.3. So I kept going. And, you know, she's like, go over to, you know, where they do, like, the ticket voucher things, whatever. So, I mean, this is obviously, so I'm already crying. I'm crying now at this point, y'all. I'm crying because there's no more flights for the night. I know that. It's Minneapolis, a.k.a. Terrible Airport. I know there's no more flights for the night. So I'm already crying. But I'm like, you know, let me go get my hotel voucher and I'm going to go stay in a hotel for the night covered by the airline, right? That's what you would think, right? It's going to be covered by the airline, right? That's what you're going to... No. No. It's not. It's not. So, I, go, I, get to the, I get to the fucking Delta thing. And, you know, she gets me the new ticket, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, oh, and here's the discount for the hotel. And she hands me the ticket thing. I'm like, as I'm through my tears fight, and I was so nice because I'm crying. I'm too, I'm crying too hard to even be mean, right? I'm like, is it, are you sure it's not fully covered, you know, fully covered, blah, blah. And she's like, it's not, it's not covered because it's not the airline's fault. Obviously, you guys do think it's your fault. Other, otherwise, you wouldn't be even trying to cover it at all, you cheap bastards. Second of all, it's, it's completely your fault. But I wasn't going to fight it because I'm crying too hard. I'm crying too hard to even try to fight it. And then I look because, okay, this was it. L.A. to Minneapolis to Fort Wayne. That was because there's no direct flights to Fort Wayne. You always have to take a layover. I look at the thing. So not only do I not have a hotel, I have to get my own hotel. But guess what else? I now have to go out tomorrow morning to Detroit and then to Fort Wayne. So now I've had to take four airplanes home. I was supposed to be home tonight. I was supposed to be home a couple hours ago now. Um, and that's my story. That's my life. That's my life. So, oh, oh no, wait, it does get worse. It gets worse, I forgot. Oh, there's this chick crying on the Obama town hall thing on CNN right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm not used to having cable, y'all. Watching, like, CNN is, like, a totally different animal for me. It's so interesting. I'm totally into this. And the commercials, too. The commercials got me, like, pow. Okay. It gets worse. So then, so then, the story doesn't end there, folks. I call their stupid voucher thing for the discount hotels. It says, we're sorry. We don't have any more hotel rooms available. Goodbye. What? You're fucking kidding me. You're kidding me. So then I call around to all of like the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest hotels. Seriously, you guys, I call like 20 hotels. They're all full. There's some stupid fucking golf tournament here in Minneapolis. Does anyone know what it's called? Some stupid fucking golf tournament going on here. And then on top of that, there is a nurse's strike here. Over 4,000 nurses are on strike, and so they had to call up, they, they had to fly in 4,000 nurses. So there's over 4,000 nurses staying in hotel rooms, plus a huge, oh, the Ryder Cup, plus the Ryder Cup just happens to be in Minneapolis. That's all going on right now. So I finally found a place that had one room for a terrible rate a night. They're just raping me here right now. And... That's my life. That's my life. Did I? So, I just finally, like, probably just, like, five minutes ago, calmed down enough to even talk about this. 
Like, I would not even text friends like five minutes ago because I've been so upset. Yeah, they didn't get the memo. I was in town, obviously. So, that's all. I just, I just wanted to scope to try to eat some of this time. <laughs> Hashtag stuck in, oh my gosh, you guys. Minnesota of all places, too. I'm stuck in Minnesota. No offense, anyone that lives in Minnesota. It's I don't live anywhere better. I live in Indiana. Snooze fest. What's even in Minnesota? Mall of America. The shut the hotel shuttle guy. He's like, too bad you're not staying an extra day. You could go to Mall of America. And I'm thinking, motherfucker, I just need you to shut up right now because I am having a fucking nightmare of a day. Okay, bro? <laughs> He's all trying to talk to me forever. Where are you from? Where are you headed to? Oh, boy. Yeah, let's stay out of the malls. Let's not make this day any worse. How would you ensure that gains made in Afghanistan aren't lost as areas in Iraq were lost? Ty says. So I just discovered, I didn't just discover, I knew, I saw, I saw you guys doing like the Snapchat filters and stuff. So I, so this is the first TV I've seen where I remembered that you could do Snapchat filters on TV. And I did one on Obama. I meet him a puppy dog on my Snapchat. Follow me on Snap. It's calling me. Okay, I gotta go. Peter's calling me. I hope you enjoyed the story of Delta. Have a good night. Okay, bye.